Hey everyone, how's it going? to Bloon here and today's another BTD6 video and today is going to be underground on chimps. This little sneak preview, we are going to black border this advanced map and we're going to be using a strategy that if you clicked on the thumbnail or clicked because of the thumbnail, it is how to beat chimps because not only are we going to beat chimps, we're going to destroy chimps because this strategy, strategy is the Grandmaster Ninja with the 20 Shinobis and I know you all know about it, you've heard about it, I did not create this strategy but it is just so strong and if you saw my impoppable video for underground you saw that i actually did it pretty bad and i only had like 13 shinobis that's usually my issue so i worked on it and perfected it to where i finally had 20 and it is just a destroyer it's so cool so i would like to show you that today on underground and hopefully you guys have seen it if not please leave in the comments below if you have never seen this strategy because i just want to know for my own because like in the discord that's like five six hundred members strong now and they all know about it. And so I figured, does everyone know about it or is just people that are really into the game? So if you have not heard of this strategy, please leave a comment below and please use it in more of your games because it does work for those expert maps as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab an Oban because he buffs magic monkeys, which a ninja is a magic monkey, and we're not gonna use any monkey knowledge. But before we begin, please hit that like button, please hit that subscribe button, leave those comments below, follow on Twitch and follow on Instagram. And I stream every Wednesday and Saturday on Twitch, except for this Saturday, because unfortunately I work tomorrow. Um, my day job is a real estate broker, you know, buying, selling houses, things like that. And usually I have my job unlocked towards nine to five, but when clients need to meet on the weekends and I can't plan it during the week, gotta go. And so um, unfortunately I will not, will not be streaming tomorrow, but let me get to what I'm say later. First, just place three dart monkeys like that. And the reason why I put them all in one little cluster is because I don't like clutter, you know? So we're gonna keep them all clean. And we're not using Adora, so we can't get rid of them on gems, unfortunately. So we're just gonna do it like that. We're gonna wait till we can afford a ninja. But I will be streaming Sunday, but not in the mornings, not the AMs like usual. I'm gonna be streaming afternoon around like one or two o'clock my time, which is Pacific Standard Time. And oh my gosh, guys, it is going to be the best stream yet because I can't really, I don't really want to talk about it because I don't want to spoil it if it doesn't come to fruition, but everything is so far and I have not heard the no yet and everything's been planned. It is this Sunday. I finally get to do a collab with someone I've been like so stoked to do this with for a long time. I've asked them before and this guy is so cool to take his time when he, I know this guy's a busy schedule. So um, first let me play this, this. Um, see how he's in the middle. What we're going to do is to where his lower bubble is like in between the wood and the first track right there. Just a little, a couple bumps up because what's going to happen is we're going to put a village in and it won't reach it if we don't. And he's going to be our grand master. So he needs to be buffed with that MIB so he can pop those DDTs and leads later on. And um, so this guy is just so cool for even taking the time to do this. It's so awesome. I can't say that any names, like I said, because if it doesn't work out, I don't want to be like hyping things up for no reason because you guys know I'm like the hype train guy and I make everything sound amazing but this is actually super amazing and super cool so if you guys can uh, spare some time on Sunday I think you guys will want to see this but if not it is so cool and special that I will be making it into a video for YouTube most likely if I get the okay but super stoked so thank you if you're watching I doubt you're watching you got way more things to do but if you're watching thank you so much for even giving me that time it's really cool so I'm really excited and that is for Sunday afternoon. Okay, let's throw this open right here. And if you guys are watching this after this weekend, so let's say it's, um, cause right now it is Friday, January 17th, 9.06 PM for me, right? And so if you guys are watching this on like Monday, the, what's that, 18th, 19th, 20th, then you're like, what is this guy even talking about? But something really cool, so check the channel and you guys will be stoked. But this strategy, so what it is, is you have a Grandmaster and you have 20 Shinobis around him because he stacks up 20 times and he raises, I think, speed and attack or whatever it raises. And it just makes him into this. So everyone's throwing Shinobi little Shurukens. I know I say that wrong. Sorry, guys. But Shinobi Shurukens around and it just gets unreal. And the Grandmaster is just spewing these things out like it's candy. And so uh, what happens is along with this guy's buff and the, you know, the MIB, this thing's just ridiculous. And unfortunately, I tried to do this where I got permabrew and it just didn't work out. So we're gonna do it this easier way. And honestly, it's just gonna be straight to the game. Like it's just, it's cool. And it's because it's the ninja, you automatically have camo and you throw an alchemist, you automatically have camo lead. And it's just such an easy strategy to rock it with. But 
with that said i do not consider it the best strategy still like that's why i did not label this like another best strategy or anything like that because at that point i do believe it'd be clickbait because i don't think it's the best i do think the druid is the best because six druids and it turns into mayhem this one takes 21 22 ninjas that's a little up over over crazy for me just saying but it is very fun and crazy and awesome and strong nonetheless and you'll see it be like uh, very satisfying after you get that 20th place like you'll see the little number above the main guy's head saying 20 and you're you're really stoked at least i am i was like yes they fit perfectly like a puzzle and it was just it was a beautiful thing so okay we're gonna put this guy in the corner here and the reason why you got to be like pixel perfect is because we got to fit as many shinobis as we can then we're going to go to acidic mixture dip and then we're going to get this guy to a balloon jitsu and the reason why i did that is because more leads are going to be coming out of this way and leads are coming out of this way and you'll have problems so just get two lead poppers on each side and let the ninja do the rest of the cleanup and you're good to go and then we got these guys doing some stuff but honestly i wish i could just get rid of them but that's why adora is cool but for this one you're definitely going to want the open just because his tree isn't like mandatory or necessary but it does help his totem helps and the buff to magic monkeys helps a lot because it gives him more range which is just awesome right so that's what we're doing with that so we just need 20 what is it 29 70 yeah oh i didn't know off the top of my head that's terrible so that one i actually called blinjitsu and i don't know why i think it's because it's been around forever right i think it was blinjitsu in btd5 or am i just making stuff up probably but see, this is the level I was talking about. That's where I had problems. So I threw in the alchemist over here first so we could pop them. And kind of, I've perfected this for you guys. So you will have zero issues if you follow it to a T. Now, for those of you who skip through, I can't guarantee because even the slightest variation can change up a strategy. You know what I mean? So if you place them over there, like place them here instead of here, it could change the entire course of one of the levels and make you lose. And then you blame it on me. But I have done this at least seven times at least a few in um, sandbox like to test out the in levels and then i went through on challenge editor three or four times and then i beat it on here as you saw the black border or not black border but the black metal so i have made it to where that's what i've been trying to do with all my latest videos as i climb the youtube ladder is i want to make sure that there's no randomness and if there is i will tell you up front like what is it called the rng so um, for this one, there is none of that. It's just straight up mayhem easiness. Easy, 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 easy. So we're gonna throw another ninja right here though. So just to recap, because I yap, 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 yap. We have this guy, it's a three zero zero. We have a now a new ninja. This guy is just a four zero one and we're not going to get caltrops on him because I do not like the Grandmaster to have caltrops because he wastes his time throwing them on the ground when he needs to be throwing those millions of darts at everybody or shurikens, whatever you call them. And we have these guys and we have this guy. So now we're going to start upgrading him. We're going to get him to a 402. So we are going to get Caltrops on this guy. And everyone will have Caltrops if they can. And I'll tell you how to do that later. But um, for right now, we're just going to upgrade this guy. And then level 40 will be a breeze. I don't care where the totem's at. I don't care. We're not even going to use a bramble because it's random. and It'll go the opposite way. Or because for the sake of the video, it'll go the right way. But every time I did this on my own without the video, um, the brambles went where I didn't want them to. So we're not even going to use them. We might use them on the 100 just to give more bad damage. But um, now we're not going to mess with that stuff. And then... We will use the tree as it comes, but like I said, it's not 100% necessary. Like this is such an easy strategy, guys. And it's not really, not that it's super easy because it's kind of hard to place, but it's just clean. I guess that's the one I'm looking for, clean strategy. Like it just dominates, decimates, and you don't even have to, like, it's just cool. You'll see. So we do Bloom Jitsu and level 40 is coming. So what we're going to do here is we're going to grab Acid Pool. And then as soon as that Moab pops, we're going to grab this uh, faster throwing, okay? So make sure you do that. I'm not sure if it's 100% necessary. I just like to do it. So pop that. So he throws them down and beats it, but he didn't even have to do anything. So he cleaned it up right before that. The totem did help in my situation on this one, but sometimes the totem will be over here, in which case the fast throwing will help because he'll start popping some of those things and the blue jitsu will clean it up. But who cares? That's over with. We're done. You guys should not have any problems around 40, like I said, but um, just to make it even easier for yourself, do throw down that brambles and hopefully he'll place it right there. And if he does place it anywhere on this first circle track, your level 40 will be even easier. So just crush fingers, but you won't even need it. Okay, now what we're going to do is go for this 402 on this alchemist and 
Next thing we're going to do is grab a village. Level 95. There we go. And see what I meant earlier? So it's still not in range of the village. You give it the bigger radius and now it is. So that's why it was important to move him just like two clicks or two pixels above. So it was, it's super clean. So now we're gonna get jungle drums. There we go. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wait because you can start buying shinobis now, but you don't need them. So my first thought on this was one of these days I wanna go through challenge editor and show you how I make a strategy so then you guys can make your own strategies because I don't know how many of you, leave in the comments below if you guys mainly make your own strategies or if you just completely use mine. And in that case, like, cause I, I guess some people probably do, right? Like some people just, just wanna get the medals so they just look up strategies and go from there. Others might make their own strategies and just use these as reference and say maybe, hey, I've never tried that, let me try that. But either way, let me know below how you guys make your strategies. But one of these days I wanna go in Challenge Editor, show you how that works, really cool, and then show you my thought process on a strategy. Maybe we can, you guys can give me your ideas of how you make strategies or maybe learn something, I don't know. But cause like, so what I did here was I tried to use this all the way to the Grand Master and just go shoot straight shot for him all the way. But around, I think I had like $35,000, no joke. So I was almost there. And then what, what, what came after me? I forget what it was, but it didn't work out. So then what I did was I was like, okay, well, oh, it's level 63. That's what it was. I didn't have enough by 63. And then, so I threw down a recursive cluster and went all the way to the end. And I'm like, I don't have enough money and he's in the way and I don't like this. It's ugly. And it was like, not just a recursive cluster, it was just messing up my cluster. So then I was went to back to the drawing board. I threw down five shinobis like I'm about to do and it totally cleared all the way to Grandmaster. So it's just like back and forth processes, but it's really fun. And that's the, that's the best part of the game for me is like, once it actually clicks and it works, I'm like, yes, finally. And then you just like, so now you're past 40, you're past 50, you're past 60. And now you're like onto the end game. You know what I mean? So. What we're gonna do is I was waiting for money because I hate like putting a tower down and then waiting for it to upgrade, waiting for it to upgrade. So with this strategy being as easy as it is, I like to just take my time, leave it on fast and then just do my thing. So I'm gonna put this guy all the way to the right and then up here. And then um, I'm actually gonna leave it on auto start because like I said, I don't wanna mess up with me. And I, like I was telling you, I, we, I know we can go to 63. My words are all over the place, guys. It's 9.15, I have not had coffee because I need to get some sleep because I work in the morning. But I'm just like, it, 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 and I'm really apologize for that. So throw down your tree because you can. And what we're gonna do here is like you just saw me do right there. You're gonna get them as tight in here as you can. And as you see here, I went a 0, 3, 2. So if he's already in range of your uh, ninja, you're going to check each one and see that he has two shinobi scrolls. Okay, you're cool, seeking shurikens. But here's a little tip, everything in the middle is gonna be in range of him already. It's just the outside ones we're gonna have to worry about. So every single one of these in the middle, you're gonna go Seeking Shuriken and then um, Caltrops. And the reason why is because once they all have Caltrops and they're all super speedy, we're not going for these guys for damage. They're strictly just like, just here to tear things up and help give our speed to our Grandmaster. So that's why I'm putting Caltrops. It may not be the best way or the most efficient, but it works for me and I like it. Okay, um, there we go. But like I said, just leave it running because it doesn't matter. <laughs> Cause like I said, five will knock us out easily on 63. So as long as we get there before that and if we need to, we'll slow it down, but we'll be fine. I feel like, oh, almost there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And then let's get another one in here. Nope, another one right here. There we go. So this is the hardest part of this whole thing. And that's why I wouldn't call it the best is because you don't, you have to work kind of hard at it, right? Like the, the druids, you just kind of push them down, hit longer range, go for it, call it a day. But um, let's see. Okay, so this is it. We have five here. And as you can see, they're both rocked with five. So now they're both faster and they're just gonna tear up this BFB, tear up around 63, zero issues at all. And, um, it, but if you want to and you feel a little nervous, just, you know, drop this guy f for a new one on 63. But as you can see, it had zero bananas in it at all. So zero balloons got inside. And then we're gonna rock this guy all the way to 37,800 for that Grandmaster Ninja. And that's where the mayhem begins. And then we'll start f fine tuning this and putting all these little shinobis in. But it just takes a little time. That's why I just recommend leaving it on fast mode and letting it kind of do its thing. Cause like, 
it really, it's so cool. It does, really doesn't matter. I mean, you really just need the 20 for like round 100 and round 98, 99. So just take your time putting them down. Don't fret. And just look how rocking it is right now. A two Bloom Jitsus, an Alchemist, and five Shinobis. It's just crazy. And they're all buffed by Obun, of course. So they're just even stronger and cooler. It's just cool stuff, guys. Cool stuff. And, but I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong or leave in the comments below. But I don't think it's worth it. I might get flack for this, but... To use the Grand Master without Shinobis because I so I was on Peninsula, right? And so more story of that later, but I was on Peninsula and I was like, yeah, I'll try Grand Master instead of the Archmage because he's a little cheaper considering it's 37 for the fifth here, but you don't have to spend 10,000 on the Arcane Spike like you do with the Mage. So, anyways, I was I was trying them out, and the reason those two are because those are like my two go-to towers, so I just wanted to try those guys out. And the Grand Master on his own can't really do too much. Like the Archmage is way better, I think. And so I was like, okay, that's kind of lame. So then you need to rock him with the Shinobis, which is not a big deal, but you can't do that on like every map. So I was actually gonna try this on Peninsula, which I think would work, but it's just hard because every time you have a map that's like flat, like let's say you put him here on Peninsula, right? You have to now fit 20 guys around him in a circle like this. It just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. And that's just my take on it. And I tried it on another brick actually, and it didn't work. So that's why I went with that. Like it was that one I called easy chimp strategy because it was just like easier just to use the mage and the chopper, of course. But um, it's all preference, I guess, really, right? What you want to try on each map. But anyway, so last night, right? So right now it's Friday at 920, I was saying. Now it's 920. Um, I was playing Peninsula and I was going after it. And no joke, I sat at my computer at 6 p.m. And I did not go into bed until 2 p.m. or 2 a.m. And I sat there on Challenge Editor for what is that? Six, eight hours, sat there, failing, 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 failing. Finally, after like hour five, I made it to around 100 but I had zero bad popping power. I used all stall tactics. It's the only way I could make it to 100 was the stall tactics, you know? So I had a, um, you know, the ice tower, I had glue gunners, I had the crocodile Dundee um, boomerang monkey. I had, what else was it? Moab shove, downdraft, the uh, druid that spits out the whirlwinds, all stall towers. And it worked beautifully. And then on round 100, I had absolutely nothing with no money left. And I'm like, oh, and each level to get there like was had to add a new map or a new tower every level just to even get to that point so guys i'm such a noob i'm such a noob but like for sure i know that the um uh, what was it we just got the grand master by the way and he's gonna start rocking you're gonna see his pop just go ballistics and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna upgrade this to the mib because i'll forget to do it later and we're gonna need it for 90 for sure um, these guys do reveal camo, but I'm not sure if it works on the DDTs. I would just say no. Let's just get the MIB and call it a day, right? But yeah, so like I know the Avatar of Wrath will work on Peninsula. It's probably pretty easy, right? You just throw down the Ice Tower and throw down your, um, your Avatar of Wrath. But I just didn't want to because like I just did the one recently on just the beginning of this year for that best chimp strategy. And I'm just like, I want to try something different. So I've been trying everything under the sun with Pat and everybody and not working guys it's not working so if any of you guys have some ideas of how you beat not not necessarily suggestions because i've tried it all guys trust me but what you guys did to black border peninsula because i am struggle bussing on this one guys for sure okay so we got this one we just need the 8100 now we got the monkey intelligence bureau all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to slowly but surely fill in these, uh, these, what do I call them, druids? The shinobis. We're going to get 20 of these bad boys around this grand master. It's not going to be easy, but it'll be fun. And then once it's done, it's going to be super satisfying, like super satisfying. I'm, I'm not kidding. The only thing downside is that you're going to have this guy here. Yeah. yeah, right. You just wish you can get rid of them, but they're cool. Maybe we'll add some others on the side to make it even more perfectly symmetrical. And... Uh, We'll go from there. But what I'm gonna do though is, see that had no bananas in it, it's crazy. It's such a strong strat with just five right now. But I'm gonna wait until the money gets up there because like I said, I don't like chasing the towers. Like I just wanna plop them down when I at my own leisure and I don't want to wait. So, cause I'll know, cause I, a lot of, I get a lot of comments, like especially my Druid farming video that I forgot to upgrade my Druid. And if I don't have the money at the time, I will not come back to it because I talk, talk, talk and I forget what I'm doing. So we're gonna wait till we have like 15, 20,000 
then we'll start upgrading these guys and start making this like the grand master strategy guys and again i apologize for my stuttering and my craziness because it's just so i got home at 6 p.m from work right and i'm like cool 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 i can knock this out my uh, my wife stayed home from work today i was super sick and so I did, she had an appointment for the doctors that we had to leave at 725, 730. So I was like, got home at six, I can do this. Put it on, got to like 55 and I'm like, I hate this, I don't like it. <laughs> and then so I was like, and when you don't like it, you can't post it, right? Like you just, it just feels weird. Like this happens in, for I'm assuming it with your job or your school, right? You have a paper, you're writing it, you're like, no, nah, no, nah, you toss it. And um, we gotta start putting these shinobis down though. So long story short though, uh, finally, just kept failing and then or not failing but i didn't like the commentary and then i'm like okay finally got a good intro going i liked it it was cool and then sure enough i um what was it sure enough i failed at, at 40 of all things i've never had a problem on 40 and then I, I guess i forgot to get the druid up or something i don't know what it was but it was it was not cool okay what i'm trying to do here is get him in range of Oban and the little village here but whatever okay so now what you do this is how you're going to test all these outside ones you're going to go up to shinobi first and we know that we already have five, right? So we're gonna click. Does he have six? Yes, he does. So we're gonna go for the caltrops and just keep doing this around the circle. You, the reason I'm doing the left side first is because if you guys, I didn't mention that earlier, but I'm trying to keep our um, grandmaster alchemized right now. And if I was to put someone over there, it's gonna take that from him. So while I'm, I'm taking time at my leisure, putting these shinobis down, he's battling it out with an alchemist on him. So he's totally overpowered. And that's my thing. So we're gonna get him very last and I didn't check this one which could have been a bad thing but it, it's good we're at seven because what's going to happen is it looks like it's on him but depending on where it is on the map it actually isn't on him and it's a huge bummer so we're going to go looking for eight right so look for eight we got eight so we're going to go caltrops all right see how it's already all over the screen it's like a spike factory but just with your useless shinobis because all they're doing is getting that speed I mean, some of them probably have pops, but it's nothing to write home about. There's like a couple thousand here, a couple thousand there. But look at Grandmaster, 385, and we got our Bloom Jits with 132, so not even comparable. I need to get this guy out of the way, and he got even worse in the way. Whatever. All right, so we have eight, right? Eight of them. Okay, let's go for nine. So with these ones, you have to be careful because you kind of have to be quick about placing them and checking the Shinobi. Because what happens is, is if, so he is buffed, but look it, you have to see if he's buffed by the alchemist. If he is, you have to probably get the other upgrade, if that makes sense. Because the alchemist gives them range and you don't want that because it messes up your calculation of the range, right? And then you want to appear 20, not like a alchemized 20. So we're going to go here, one, two, three, check your guy. See, it's not buffed. It is when he has the alchemist on him, but not otherwise. So we're going to go ninja discipline. Now it's up here, 10. See that? All right. So um, I'm not pl placing these down to like help you guys. And like, I'm not placing them down slow to help you guys. I'm placing them down slow because it's hard, guys. Like it for real is. Like I, I'm so terrible at this. Like finding the perfect spot drives me crazy. Okay. So uh, let's go one, two, three. Do we have 11? Yes, but he has the alchemist on him. Um, so basically what you do is you just... Oh, what the heck? That's the wrong button. I'm going to leave it on him and he has a continuous 11. So we're good on that. I don't know why. It, why would this one not be in range, but this one is? That doesn't make any sense. Um, all right, let's, just, let's come back to that guy. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to this guy. We're going to start putting him in the middle because I don't know if you guys noticed, but it's already 91, and I'm like really slow with this. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. All these in the middle we know work, so we're just going to hit them. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Okay. Because we do need to speed up a little bit. Even though it's on slow, we're still going really slow. One, two, three, one, two. Ooh, our open just maxes level. There you go. And then this guy, uh, I don't trust it, so I'm just going to put this one on. I felt like it was an alchemized one. So we have 17. And look how clean this is right now, guys, by the way. We got three up here, three down here. We got five over here, and then we got another 
six over here. That's pretty cool. So super clean because this guy's sort of in the middle. I love this. This is like makes my like OCD just feel real good. Okay, so we need three more. We're gonna put one in the middle because if we can, we're gonna go one, two, three. Is he at 9, 18? No, he's not. So we're gonna have to go Ninja Discipline. 18, there you go. And then this one, we're going to actually not be symmetrical anymore, I'm sorry. We're gonna go 19. And then we're going for that 20, guys. And this one actually is cool because it has Obin attached to it. So it's gonna be for sure in his range. One, two, three, check it that 20 on its own. So we're gonna go like this. Boom, 20. Finally did it guys, we have 20 on the Grandmaster. I'm totally stoked right now. So now what we're gonna do, two more things. We're gonna grab a glue gunner right here, put him like right about there. Go one, two, three, one. So a zero, one, three. We're gonna grab another glue gunner and put him right here. Around this area, I like that. One, two, three, one, boom. Okay, that's it guys, That's that's pretty much it. There is one more thing we have to do to beat that bad because what'll happen is the bad will not pop until right about where that alchemist is and you will definitely lose at least a few lives. And even one life on chimps, you know, kind of sends you home crying. So we're gonna get rid of that with just a simple little trick here, which I don't, I didn't even actually use really ever before this ever because someone mentioned to me, I was, I think it was moon landing. I did a video for chimps moon landing and someone was like, Hey, you know you could just use the Moab Assassin, I think it's called, and it's kind of like the first strike, just not as strong. I'm like, oh, that's kind of cool. I never thought of that. And so sure enough, you use this guy and he's super strong. Oh, the Moab Eliminator, my bad. So we're gonna go Moab Eliminator and bigger bombs and heavy bombs. And once we get that 27,000, it only takes about three hits by the time the Grandmaster works him. So it will easily mix them with the Grandmaster, pop that bad, and we will clean up and kill him before we get to the Alchemist. Otherwise, if we just go Grandmaster on his own, we'd have like 30 something thousand dollars left, but we would not pop it in time. So with just a couple of glue gunners, and yeah, so with just the glue gunners and this Moab Eliminator, we will destroy. It's super cool. So I'm gonna just pop him out there. You can use him if you want to, just to clear it up a little faster, but um, it doesn't really matter, guys. And the Moab Eliminator is really cool because it just keeps on recycling like super fast, just over and over and over and over and over, which is awesome. But hmm, who knows, guys? All right, so, but I am actually going to not auto start this because I want to make sure I have him upgraded before that so it regens so I can use it as immediately as the round starts on 100. So we're gonna upgrade him. I think it automatically comes out, right? With that one, it just starts. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go hit him. It's gonna regen super fast. We're gonna hit it again. One, two, three. And you can actually throw down your brambles too and change your tree out if you want to. And as you can see, we still have money, so that's pretty cool. Still got the money. So we're gonna hit another eliminator, boom. Hit it one more time if you want to. Look at those DDT just get destroyed. So we definitely are going to knock this thing out pretty quickly. Look at that. And we did it. We got a cool Insta factory too, that's awesome. And so that is it. And I think I got eight or $900 the first time around. So I get asked quite a bit, like how do I have so much monkey money? It's because I don't use it and because I play these over and over and over. So that's another $180, plus I got the original 900 or something to beat it. Plus I got the whatever I got for impoppable and hard and alternate balloon rounds. So when you're trying to make videos or blackboard or a map, you get a lot of money, especially when you get to these advanced maps. So. That's how you do it. And I'm pretty sure you could rock this for a while. I, I haven't tested it. Like I tell most of you guys, I really don't go late game ever. I don't think I've ever gone above like 107 or something, but it's really cool. And I'm pretty sure this can last you a while. Just throw in some more stuff. Even go for it, go crazy. You just get everything you can. But I'm really excited about the strategy. I hope you guys liked it. And remember, if you have not ever seen the Grandmaster strategy, uh, leave a comment below and tell me that you have not seen it before. And if you have, tell me, how long or how many black borders you've gotten on it and your biggest map for it. That would be cool too. So let me know the biggest map that you've beaten with this because I've heard that you can do it on quad and you can do it on ouch as well. And so um, let me know there. And then what was the other thing I asked you guys earlier about? I don't remember, but I'm sure you guys probably do because you probably just watched it. I'm talking and listening to myself, so it's difficult. <laughs> but um, 
you guys are awesome. The channel's up to like 6,600 or 6,700 subscribers. That is crazy. I was so stoked at 100 and even more stoked at 1,000 and then 5,000 came and went and now it's like on the road to 10K already and I'm just like, what is going on guys? And it's such a weird concept. So, so random and weird at the end of this, but I just had to say it cause I don't know if you guys have ever thought of it like this, but so I was talking to my wife and like, like I refreshed my YouTube app or whatever. Right. And it said like another 30 something subscribers this is within like a few hours. And I'm like, Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And after the initial shock of what refreshing and seeing like 30 new people, I think too, I'm like, there's really 30 people in different locations clicking subscribe around the same time. It's just so cool to think like there's a lot of people in this world and like YouTube reaches so far. I know it's totally a random thought and it's late. I'm getting tired, but I just thought that was so cool. Like how that works. And, um, sorry, I'll leave you guys alone. But, um, anyways, guys, that was the grand master. That's how to beat and pop or chimps super easy and super crazy. And everything matches with the cool green and black. I didn't even realize that right now. So I'm really glad I used the mob eliminator. And this was just a fun time and it looks nice. It's not all like messy, like usual when you have to put a bunch of stall towers and everything. So thank you guys. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, follow on Twitch, and definitely, guys, you should be here Sunday because Sunday is going to be so, so cool. So cool. So thank you guys so much, and thank you to the awesome person who's going to be with me Sunday. You're the best, and it's just so cool, man. So honored. But uh, thank you guys, and I will see you guys next time.